Hey guys, it's Huck here, and it is an awesome day, an awesome day to go shopping. So we're gonna head out to my local thrift shop called Wimby's, and we're gonna see what they have. Maybe they got some cool Blu-rays or DVDs floating around for us. So let's go shopping! Ah, Wimby's, when I first left you, I was but a shopper. Now I am the buyer. All right, check this out, guys. So they have a pretty huge inventory when it comes to DVDs. Here's their inventory here. Uh, they do break them down by genres, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for a comedy or a sci-fi or something like that, they got it broken down. So that's, that's uh, very helpful. The only real downside is how they stack them on top of each other like this, especially when you're trying to record with a cell phone. When they're side by side, you can kind of pull the title out, look at it, and push it back in. But when they're on top of each other, if you try to reach in and try to pull it with one hand, the whole thing falls over. Now, the only downside to uh, their Blu-rays is they don't keep the Blu-rays over here on these shelves where the DVDs are, so you can look through them. They keep them in tubs behind the counter. I don't know, maybe because they think people are going to yoink them. Of course, I won't. I just want to look through it. Uh, that also makes it harder to record because you're right there at the counter. So I'm going to go look through those right now, try to score up something good, and see what we got. So let's get out of here. All right, well, that was a, uh, a pretty decent run to the thrift store. Couldn't believe I was digging through those tubs and found a few fresh titles that I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, I I hope I love this one. I remember seeing this a while ago, um, so I picked it up anyway, but check this out. The Quick and the Dead. Sam Raimi, Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Russell Crowe. Man, this, uh, I mean, you can't beat the cast. Uh, I'm on this Leo kick right now. I just watched Wolf of Wall Street for the first time. Holy cannoli, man. If you have not seen that, that that movie is wicked. It's filled with lots of stuff. A lot of drugs, a lot of sex, a lot of uh, crazy backstabbing. But Leo is just a phenomenal actor. And I know he's more of like a, a co-star in this one. But uh, check that out. Oh, yeah. The thing, I, I, I recall this being pretty good, though. Uh, I mean, it's got like Russell Crowe in his early days. Uh, Leo DiCaprio, certainly when he was still like up and coming. He was a super, superstar in the making. Uh, but uh, Sam Raimi, you know, Evil Dead, Spider-Man. Uh, gosh, that... I don't know. I just have a feeling that hopefully this will hold up on, on another rewatch. But, you know, it was in the tub for four bucks. Uh, yeah. The, and by the way, that thrift store that I go to, their Blu-rays are four. So so it's almost that big lots price, which is usually five dollars. It's usually three to five. But most of the things at my big lots are five. So this is just under that. Um, and it was in kind of a wrecked case when I got this. But, you know, because I do all these consolidatings, I still hang on to the, the single disc Blu-ray cases uh, when I convert these to like two or three discs. So, I mean, this is like a, a super sweet, fresh looking case. Let's get that shine off there for you. I mean, it's in perfect condition now. So, so the artwork looks great. The case looks fantastic. No marks, no nothing. And there you go. Quick in the day. And check that out. Even on the inside, they get a little uh, Sharon Stone coming in through those saloon doors. So I'm looking forward to checking this out again. And Gene Hackman, look, anything that Gene Hackman is in, you cannot go wrong. I think th there's a saying that goes, and if there is no saying, I'm making it right now. If Gene Hackman is in a bad movie, he makes a bad movie better. And even if that movie is a total pile of garbage, you instantly forgive Hackman and you you can't wait for his next film. You know what I mean? Like, like a, a bomb from Hackman never seems to affect his star cred. It's like when he comes out in something else... Just check it out. He's going to bring it. Speaking of bringing it, the Rock, that dude always brings it. I've been wanting the rundown for a while. Um, this is one of his uh, early films that he came out with with Sean William Scott. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, uh, Walking, oh my God, the tooth fairy. I want my tooth. Go get my tooth. If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Walking is hilariously delightful as the villain in this film. Do you understand? The concept of the Tooth Fairy. She takes a goddamn thing, gives you a quarter. They got my tooth. I want it back. 
Uh, and this is this is where it was all kicking in right here with the rock. So this was another one that was sort of always floating around that ten dollar range on Amazon. But there it was, four bucks in a really beat up case. But again, I had a bunch of these nice, fresh, good looking cases. So this looks brand new. There it is, you know. And the and the discs. I mean, I, I think this was never watched because I mean the disc is perfect. No, no scratches, nothing. So. So two win-wins right there. And uh, let's see. I also couldn't believe I, I saw this. The Gladiator. I, I have this on uh, DVD. It's the two-disc edition. But this is also... I'll show you the back of that. It's a great film. So I think I think what I might do for a future episode is I have this standby. Look at that. Is that, is that a future uh, consolidation in the making right there? So two disc here, two disc here. Uh, I'll kind of look over the, the bonus features on the two to see if it's even worth it. If it's the exact same content, then I'm, I'm, I'm not going to waste the time to probably do that. But uh, again, if it has a few things that aren't on here, then I will certainly do a consolidation for those. That's it, guys. There it is. That's my, that's my run today from doing a, a quick run um, to the thrift store. So not a bad little score there. I don't always like luck out at those things. So I was, I was pretty happy to find a couple things. All right, so that is it for now, guys. Do me a big favor. If you enjoy this content, please hit the like and subscribe and smash that bell so you get notified the next time I put up my next video. All right, guys, till next time, I'll catch you later.